show everybody how you can make endnotes in three different kinds of word processors. So the first one I have right here is pages, okay, and I've written this sort of um, fake essay here with my name, the course name, my teacher's name, of course, and then the date that it's due, okay, and then you've got a title in the middle and uh, the beginning of a paper here. So the first thing that I would want to cite is this Gilbert Muller quote that I'm using. And so I get to the end of the sentence that I've quoted or I've borrowed information from, and I'm just going to put my cursor right there. And then I go up to Insert. And then I go down here to Footnote. Although you're not making footnotes, you're actually going to make endnotes. So I want to go to the Inspector. Let me bring that over here. And <clears throat> over here, I just clicked on that, and I want to make sure that I get EndNotes. So I want to use Section EndNotes, or I'm sorry, Document EndNotes. And that should be fine, one, two, three, and continuous. So then what I get is an EndNote right here. So if I go over to the bibliography that I made for you guys, what I can do Let's go down here, and I find the Gilbert Muller EndNote. I'm just going to copy it and bring it back over here and paste. All right, now obviously this is way too big, and I need to fix the sizing and everything. Um, all right, and let me just make it Times New Roman so that it fits and looks the same. Times New Roman. Okay, there's my first end note, no problem. And then I've got another one right here. Let's see the Susan Bordeaux Empire of Images. Same thing. I'm going to go right here. And if I go up to Insert, End Note, gives it right there. I'm going to find the Susan Bordeaux. All right, right here. And right there. Same thing, I've got to resize it. Times New Roman. And the one thing I need to fix here is I need to put in the correct page number. Um, all right. And, okay. You don't give the whole range, you give the exact page number from which it came. All right, so you are on your way to making endnotes in pages. All right, so let's look at Word. Here's a Word document. Um, same thing up here, you want to go to Insert, Footnote. Make sure you're doing endnotes, and here you'll need to switch this to 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then, same kind of thing, here's my Mahler quote, I get to the end of the period, put my cursor there, and um, actually Word gives you this, another kind of menu up here, if you want to use this you can. See, you can just go insert citation, make sure you're doing endnotes, and there it is. And same thing, I go back, and copy and there it is all right and same thing that we just did before I need to switch it to um, okay same kind of thing you'll want to make this Times New Roman and go through all of that stuff that we just did okay same process then, if anybody wants to try Google Docs, you can give that a shot as well. It's free. It works really well. Um, so all you do is bring this in a little bit. Um, here is my first citation. Go to the period. Insert. Footnote. All right, and
There it is. Okay. And then with this, you'll just have to make sure these go to the end of the document. And so they're not footnotes, they're actually endnotes. And that's it.